he was looking for one linear kill option, that being F tilt, and Fair Out of Shield punished it every time, leading to Tilde's yeah. comeback. Yeah. Okay, we're back to Town and City, this time in uh, Losers Finals, 0-0. Zero, zero. There is the the reset of the score of the scorecard. It is Tilde and Syrup playing for the chance for their both of their respective runbacks with Zamba. Yeah. Yeah, and um Yeah, and this is I, I feel like we're gonna definitely see a lot of scrapping. Um in, in, in this game, a lot of scrapping. These are two characters that scrap a lot. They're going to see a, a bunch of close quarters gameplay between these two. A lot more boxing, too, and, and it's something I like to see in this game. Yeah. I like seeing players scrap. I like seeing these. I like seeing combos get extended from. Um, how do I put this? Uh, frame traps, that's the word. I like seeing frame traps be effectively utilized, and with a character like Ness, uh, he can be frame trapped pretty well because his air dodge is so good, and because everybody knows his air dodge is so good, and that spot dodge weight on from Syrup was a excellent response to losing his stock so early. Unfortunately, not resulting in anything, and he wasn't able to get the follow-up afterward, but Syrup looks like he's starting to wake up a little bit and going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Tilde, yet Tilde's hits always string into two or three more. Yeah, and Tilde's warm. Tilde just came off of the set, so he's definitely warm. He's he, he's feeling it right now, just coming off of a win. And that two-frame down tilt, this down tilt has been confirming into almost every single thing under the sun, and that was a crazy stall. I don't know if he did it on purpose, but, you know, biting him a little bit of time. But, um, yeah, Tilde up three stocks to one, and he is he, he's playing very well. Yeah, and can we talk about Tilde's timing for a little bit? You mentioned the, the two frame before, but repeatedly he has timed these uh, these uh, down tilts. Only a matter of time before he ends up timing a down smash, and now the Syrup's dead. Yeah, and you know what? It, it's, it's almost like, why even go for the down smash at that point if down tilt confirms into that many things? True. Like, why, why even? And it's like it's going to be more active, less of a commitment, and he's just taking it to the bank, and... um. Yes, now Sir finally taking that stock, but man, just Tilde, yeah, yeah he's, he's playing very confidently. Yeah, that's a lot of damage coming out from Syrup, and it's damage he absolutely needs if he wants to make a comeback in this game two, or in this game one. We're not even in game two yet, but Syrup's ready to go there, or uh, Tilde is ready to go there if he has the chance to close out this stock. Scouting out the roll, but it was a little bit too late on the down air. So Syrup gets a chance to, uh, to trap that ledge, but the Phantasm goes right over his head. Jeez, how many times is Tilde just going to come down with Dare? <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good move. It's a pretty good hitbox also. Oh, yeah. Um, like, if, if, you, if, you look, if you look at a uh, Falco down air on ultimate frame dead, you're going to be disgusted. It's it's nice. I think it's, it's like minus nine. Yeah, but just the hitbox size, it's a pretty good. That's fine. Let, let's look it up, everybody. Let's, that's fake. Let's... Do the research together. Go do the research. No, I was talking about a uh, Falco's Falco down, down air, uh, and like the hitbox. Like yeah. a pretty good hitbox. Because I know his his feathers are uh, disjoint are intangible as well. Wow, that's good. Yeah, see, that was pretty sad. But... Minus six on shield. It's frame yeah. ten, but minus six late hit minus seven. Yeah, like it's it's worth it to come down with, especially since he's a spacey. He's a fast faller. He can get on you really quickly. Oh yeah, no, yeah, and yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's in your face all the time. Um, but yeah, going into Smashville, this has been the Syrup counter pick basically every time he's allowed to go here. Yeah, and it makes sense too. Um, Ness could definitely use a stage to advantage, like something like this, something and, exactly like that, even. <laughs> yeah, like just taking that stock pretty Not early, again. like. Oh my god, he, it feels so high roll, but then you realize PK Fire is surprisingly hard to punish, but Tilde meeting sword with sword, axe with iron, like this is, that's a dead, that's a dead Syrup. Okay, 42%, nothing doing. <laughs> yeah, and, and yeah, and Syrup didn't want to advance forward at that point, he's like, alright, you got it, like, I'm not, I'm not coming back from that, just totally cornering him in the air, um, use, yeah, using Falco is just incredibly good air speed. Oh, he got the re-grab as well on the platform, dodging the laser, but Syrup, after a dominating start to the stock, has basically been getting similar to what happened with uh, with uh, Zamba, where this 
platform, and Syrup's attempt to utilize this platform for his offense has basically just ended up getting him sharked for massive damage and stocks. Oh yeah, and oof, yeah, reading that. Yeah, yeah, getting, getting hit by that down smash. But um, what you, one thing one thing I will say about Tilde right now, he's using a lot of down air to land, and I, I it's been pretty, it's been working pretty well to circumvent some of the things that Syrup has been trying to do to shark him. Because even one time, it traded with one of Ness's aerials that he that he tried to shark him with, and um, yeah, no down air is very good to try to mix up your landings if you're Falco. Onyx weaves back in to come in with the forward air, but Syrup does the same thing with his own. Yet, Tode pre prepping that up tilt, which can lead into so... Yep, yep, just just prepare to up tilt. Spot dodge into up tilt. Oof, yeah, and f funny enough, I feel like that was a situation where Falco forward tilt probably would have helped him out there. Angle down forward tilt. Yeah, that probably kick. Yeah, oh yeah, a little kick probably would have sent him off. But that being said... Uh, Tilde still catching, still catching that recovery back. Yeah, right, this the roll is, with the back air. This is so good, right? He's baiting Syrup to come in with that little walk. Can we go back a couple frames before this back air? Look at him, look at him walk. Look at him walk a little bit. He's just trying to chill. He's making him think, I'm gonna set up on this platform. Maybe I'm prepping to walk off it. No, I'm dropping through and getting this back air. Just a couple steps. Yeah. And it's a solid bait. Yeah, and funny enough, I, I think Syrup knew he was gonna do that, but he got a little bit greedy and tried to break it up with the with the dash attack and didn't work out for him so you know a little bit of extension on Sierra's part and losing the game for that trying to make a repeat of the first stock however uh first stock from game two with a bunch of pk fires but having that all-purpose reflector from tilde able to get out of the initial combo and well not die but he's still 896 so yeah. it's a, not the greatest position yet you're tilde and you know your combo game is on point Syrup has to close that, uh, shut that down if he wants to take this game and even start a reverse 3-0. Yeah, like, you know, Tilde, yeah, Tilde has been controlling the pace of this pretty much, and it just seems like Syrup, Syrup has been playing pretty well in the matchup, but compared to other sets that I've seen him play, it seems like he's just been struggling to get a foothold on how he's supposed to edge guard or even um, shark Falco. So he SDI'd in and tech the first one. Yeah. Oops. And I think the second one was truly untechable. That's oof. That's survivability. That, and yeah. that's, it's survivability you learn from playing uh, one of the three spaces for so long, as Toda has played both Fox and Falco. Uh, you have to you just have to know how to do that and have to be prepared to do that. Because the more that uh, if you're able to prevent even one edge guard, that's so much for uh, for a spacey player and Tilde extending his life even just that little bit longer giving him the chance but he still has to find a way to get this 130% there it is wow. <laughs> and, that trade. and I'm surprised that Tilde didn't throw out forward smash in any one of the situations because it is a move that can hit below ledge I'm not sure it might not be able to hit uh, Ness in that situation but um, using down smash and I feel like he ate a, a bunch of percent just trying to edge guard Syrup in that situation I love how I love how Tode is prepared for these uh, ledge hop uh, PSI magnets. It has basically evened up this game because he's waiting for Syrup to counter poke, and the frame trap is well still surviving the great DI on Syrup's part. Now he needs to find a way off ledge, just doing the neutral getup. He knows Tode is prepared for something offensive. He gets back on stage for free. Ooh, okay. That was a brave roll in by Syrup. I have to say that roll in just now. Oof. Um, D did it again, and that time he got punished for it. Uh, and now we're at an even game, and you know, and yeah, Syrup does need to watch his roll-ins. I, I know he's trying to roll in and like grab him or something, but man, Tilde has been punishing people hard for that all day. The reset on the platform too, fully extending 70, 74 now with the added laser and shine. Like, that just feels so inter insurmountable sometimes, because you get into an even game state with a player you're down 2-0 against, and it's like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna do 74. Oh yeah, you're at 100 now after two uh, two up tilts. Yeah, and yeah, yep. once again, yep, yeah, yeah, covering that roll on, and um, you know, Tilde, he does a very good job at threatening you at ledge, which is why why it seems like you know people are rolling in a lot, or you might seem that you need to roll in. Tilde does a good job at covering the ledge with down tilt. You think he might do like a forward air high 
I wanna, to to I wanna try to yeah, 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 yeah just to try to cover a bunch of options but yeah just then he just goes back we saw up smash against numbers back air here like Tilde is like rolling coverage is pretty solid yeah there's so many spots in that in that instance where he he's prepping to roll in right but in that microcosm of syrup just grab ledge what do you do the last time you got pun the previous time you had died for a PSI magnet off trying to be offensive. You got away with the neutral getup, but Syrup's really close to ledge, as you get to see a child get kicked in the face. Mm -hmm. But he's really close to the ledge. So do you want to risk doing another neutral getup to that Syrup, uh, that, uh, excuse me, that Tilde looks ready to punish? You can't always wait on ledge, though, because he's he's in down tilt range. He just had two frame with down tilt. Mm -hmm. What is the play here? Well, 